guys today. Not necessarily the whole, the, uh, you know, the, the typical uh, time lapse, but this one would have took way too long for me to do that. But yeah, definitely way too long. Cause I actually started this shoe last year. <laughs> it took me like a year to get around to it, but that's besides the point. Matter of fact, no, I'll tell you. So I started the shoe right after SneakerCon 2016. But this is a personal pair, so I didn't really get to uh, kind of do it straight on. So I kind of had to get a little touch here every now and then in between uh, my client orders. And then I, th I want to say like the week of SneakerCon 2017 in Chicago, I was able to dig deep and really finish it. Because um, this shoe really took a lot of details, man. All of the scales and everything were hand engraved. And the shoe changes colors. It's iridescent depending on how the light hits it. And of course, this is hand painted as well as the Killer Croc logo on the back. And the soles, of course, were dyed green. This was the Venom 10. So, I mean, it's a lot of work that went into this shoe. But I'm glad that I got the result that I want. Today, I got you guys this Killer Croc Air Jordan 10. I know Suicide Squad came out not too long ago, but that movie was trash. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. If I had to put two bad movies together, I would say, in, in, in that time frame that the movie came out, I would say Suicide Squad and uh, The Last Resident Evil that came out. But Resident Evil was way worse. I know some people actually like Resident Evil more, which is kind of crazy to me because Resident Evil didn't make any sense whatsoever but again that also is besides the point kick today guys didn't want to do it like the movie i think killer croc in the movie looked kind of cheesy kind of uh kind of disrespectful in terms of the comic book character and plus i like more of the actual intimidating uh characters i love drawing comic book characters as you can see i have my black afro characters in the back as well as a work in progress that i'm working on <laughs> let me know what you guys think about my artwork too as you see it in the background of some of my vids and if you need any custom artwork or uh, any of the paintings that you see in my vids typically those will be on sale on the website or if you have any um, you know custom inquiries you want to make in terms of canvas arts I mean canvas painting you just let me know too you can shoot me an email or hit me on the website for that as well <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean Whenever I get to do a shoe that's this detail, it really makes the, the whole job seem way more worth it. I mean, I like doing the simple color blockings, like the all red joints or like, um, like I did the Bel Air joint. That was cool, simple clean look, but when I'm able to do something like this, that really allows me to showcase like the actual steady handedness and hand paint work and versatility in terms of different methods from the engraving, the color shift, the, paint splattered, the dyed soles, and like I say, back to the hand painting. It just kind of, it just feels better than those uh, simpler things. And plus, occasionally, if I get too used to doing those simpler things, you know, the internet will forget about you in, in, in about 24 to 48 hours. So if I haven't done anything super detailed in a day, they'll forget that I can do it. So that's why every time I get a project like this, I really look forward to it. I also got a couple more projects like that in terms of super dope details too. So be on the lookout for that yeah guys you know this shoe is what it is killer croc tens a lot going on on a simple canvas let me let me know what you guys think on those you know comment if you want to buy them price gotta be right but let me know if you got an offer you, you know that type of guy you want to or you know if you're just interested in grabbing these kicks let me know if the price is right i might let them go but then again, I might not. But, you know, don't hesitate if you're trying to grab. Appreciate you guys as always. Check me out on Instagram at v.a.b. It's your boy, Bab. One more time. Till next time.